Why is the MX-5 engine loved by enthusiasts? Now you're probably wondering which Mazda I'm talking about. Your bank account will be thanking me when I tell you that it is the NB MX-5. And if you're unaware of the price you can pick one of these up for nowadays, a quick eBay search will be suffice. If you can't be bothered to go on eBay, they go for anywhere between £500 and £1,000. You're looking primarily for the Mark II MX-5 without the VVT module, just for ease, and the engines themselves are very strong and will take a turbocharger all day long. So let's get into why these engines are so easy to work on and maintain. The key components such as the intake exhaust manifold and spark plugs are easy to reach which minimises the amount of disassembly required for routine maintenance and repairs. From standard, they are naturally aspirated and for someone which has minimal knowledge of the whereabouts of components in an engine bay, there is minimal additional plumbing and coolant hoses which you would have if the engine were to have some form of forced induction. The NB uses relatively simple electronics and lacks the complex ECU and electronic sensors found in modern vehicles which makes troubleshooting and repairs a lot easier. For example, there's no turbocharging and no variable valve timing, making the engine simpler and less prone to certain types of failures. The OBD2 diagnostic system, present on the later NB models, allows for easier error code reading so you can pinpoint issues with basic diagnostic tools. As a popular enthusiast car, the MX-5 NB has a wealth of aftermarket support and documentation. This makes it easier to find high-quality replacement parts, performance upgrades and tutorials. Many hobbyists and technicians are familiar with the MX-5's mechanics, so there's an abundance of repair guides, community forums and YouTube videos to assist with DIY projects. The MX-5 NB 1.8 has a timing belt, which is often easier and cheaper to replace than a timing chain. While timing belts need periodic replacement, they're generally simpler to access and replace on this engine. The straightforward design of the timing belt system means fewer special tools and less experience are required for a DIY replacement. Mazda designed the MX-5 series with enthusiasts in mind, anticipating that many owners would work on their cars themselves. This means fewer hidden fasteners, less over-engineering and more focus on ease of use. The NB's 1.8 engine is known for its reliability and durability, so it tends to hold up well over time. This means that when you do need to make repairs, you're often not dealing with a significant overhaul, but rather routine maintenance like changing fluids, belts or plugs. These factors make the NB's 1.8 engine an excellent choice for DIY mechanics, enthusiasts and anyone looking for a car that's easy to maintain and work on. The simplicity, reliability and the culture of the MX-5 enthusiasts all contribute to making it one of the most approachable engines for both beginners and experienced hobbyists. Why do we use the MX-5 as a donor car for our new builds? If you're unaware, at MK Sports Cars we take the Mazda MX-5 Mark II and pull it apart for a list of components which we need to build a brand new car within our space frame chassis. The MX-5 as its own standalone car definitely has its pros and cons. The pros definitely surround the engine side of things more than the actual body of the car, with the body of the Mazda crumbling away on many of the models which is what causes these to be so cheap to pick up for a great quality engine and not so great bodywork. As we've just done in the factory, pulling apart an NB donor car, taking the engine out and giving it a little freshen up, just checking the valve clearances and lapping the valves, these are just precautionary measures which we have followed to ensure the most reliable driving experience within our new RX5 140 demo car, which you will also be able to drive, but more information will be in another video. We have made several builds in the past using this engine which have all run ridiculous power, one of these being our current demonstrator car with an MX-5 NB, a 19-tooth hybrid turbo and of course run on aftermarket management with an ME360 ECU by Motorsport Electronics. In terms of engine internals, it has upgraded rods and big end bearings and on the dyno it made 340 brake horsepower and 280 foot-pounds of torque on high boost. That marks just about it for the Mazda MX-5 NB. All in all, it's a great car and a fantastic engine and if you're looking for an engine to get elbow deep into for the first time, it really isn't a bad place to start. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time.